Let's get over to First Alert Meteorologist Derek Beasley, who gets to tell us about these warm temperatures that yes. we had today. Yeah, gorgeous uh, temperatures, not so much uh, the skies. It was a little <laughs> cloudy here throughout the day. We did see some late day sunshine, but uh, it looks like our streak of these very warm temperatures coming to an end. Uh, looks like tomorrow won't be too bad. We're expecting highs around 60, but then later in the week, uh, on Friday and into the weekend, they're going to get a little bit cooler, back to where we should be here for this time of year. Going back uh, to early this morning, you can kind of see how things have evolved, and you know, the showers is kind of making their way offshore right now. But uh, we started off again yesterday with those showers and storms just off to our south and west. You can kind of see how they evolved. And, and really, the big issue today is the reason why we didn't see a whole lot of rain across the area is we had a couple of factors. We had all these storms that were down here in the Carolinas. Line is cutting off the moisture flow into our area. That was one negative, and the other one was the fact that we had a warm layer uh, a few thousand feet above our heads, cutting inversion, and that actually kept the air from rising. It was a little drier aloft, so rain just in, really couldn't materialize. We did see some rain, though, southern Maryland, lower eastern shore that has since left the area. But temperatures, though, even at this hour, still in the low to mid 60s, some upper 50s. We'll be in the 50s tomorrow morning with a partly cloudy sky and a light west northwest wind. And we expect tomorrow to be relatively uneventful, although there is going to be one little fly in the ointment. We're watching the upper level piece of energy you see spinning around right here. That is going to try to swing into the region later tomorrow evening. So I think we'll see a few more clouds uh, tomorrow evening and perhaps. Perhaps maybe a couple of showers will pop up, particularly near the Pennsylvania border, as this thing tries to swing through the area. I'll show that to you here on Futurecast. Notice here tomorrow morning, partly cloudy skies. But then as the afternoon and evening rolls on, some of that colder air aloft is going to swing through. And we could see a couple of extra clouds, particularly up closer to the Pennsylvania border, and maybe a couple of isolated, very stray showers. Most of us, though, are going to be staying dry here for tomorrow, and I do expect more sunshine tomorrow, certainly than what we saw today. And then Friday is going to be a very nice day. Cooler, highs mainly in the 40s to around 50, but it will be sunnier than what we're expecting here for tomorrow. So again, partly to mostly cloudy skies tomorrow afternoon, upper 50s to around 60 degrees. First alert, 7-day forecast, 60 tomorrow, 50 on Friday, 40s for the weekend. So the trend for the temperatures will be downward, but it won't be seriously cold. Overnight lows in the low 30s. Our next chance for a shower co probably coming in on Sunday with a little quick moving system that will last through early Monday. But besides that, really not a bad looking 7 8 forecast. Oh, okay, we'll take it for January for yeah. sure. Yeah. Thank you, Derek. Well, for more First Alert weather and updated news, check in with Cena Gabber at Tim Williams and meteorologist Abigail Degler tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4 30.